What's going on, everybody? It's good to see you. Welcome to another edition of Sir Health Speaks Podcast. We are glad that you are here. Now, before we get started, I want you guys to make sure you hit the like button. If you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be extra fancy, invite somebody to come and listen to this podcast as well. Now, why am I doing this podcast? I'm really glad that you guys have asked. I want to jump right into it. Is it because for the majority of my life, up until I became 30, I was what we call a nice guy. My whole goal was to look non-threatening, to look like I'm not competing with anybody, to show a degree of hum what I called humility, which we'll get into at a later time, because my goal was to neutralize any concern that I was a threat or that I, I'm, you know, to present myself as harmless to people. And what I started to realize, I'm trying to people please because I had been cultured to believe that everybody's needs, everybody's desires come before my own and is a good nice, whole, whole, good person, my feelings, my needs, my desires take a back seat as a sign of my unyielding humility to other people. And you start to realize that that is the wrong way. It is an irresponsible way to think. And so while I was nice hurting myself, it seemed like people loved me a little bit more. I had more friends. I had, you know, better relationships with certain family members, people who I thought we were tight. I mean, they loved me when I was the nice version of me. I'm talking about the version of me that would overgive, that would spin my last to make them good, even if it meant I didn't have enough for myself. Like I was, I was loved when I was willing to put my dreams and hopes on the back burner and make someone else the priority. Like I was loved when I was able to 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 repress my own feelings and to be a listening ear for other people to talk about and communicate their problems to me. I was loved. But the moment I created boundaries, the moment I learned how to say no and to say no unapologetically, then suddenly the version of me who was known for being nice, it seemed all of a sudden once I had boundaries, once I had limitations on what I would do, and you could not guilt me, you could not pressure me into doing something that I don't want to do. Like I'm not going to fund your, your ego. I'm not going to hurt me to make you feel good. Once I set up parameters, it went from Ernest is nice, Ernest is nice, to he must be a narcissist. Like he, he definitely, look, look the way he acts. It's all about him. He thinks he's better than people. Like he, he thinks he's, he's all that, right? And you start to realize that when people can no longer use you in the way that benefited them the most, they, they discard you and then they try to invalidate you by throwing out these, these big, large letter psychological words because they're trying to shield their, their, their selfishness and the selfishness that has now turned into straight up resentment, they hide that behind this great psychological word, narcissist, when really they want to just say that they're upset that they can no longer use you. And so I went from nice to narcissist. And I'm saying this because some of you have had the same experience where you used to be a person who overextended yourself. You gave to everybody, you gave your last and you poured out so much and you thought that people would see that and that your love would at least make your credit score, the credit score of, of your emotional connection, the credit score of loyalty and commitment. You thought that the more you did, the more loyal you were, that that credit score would go up with the people you loved and cared about. And suddenly you realized that when it comes to that, you don't get a credit score. It's what can you do for me today? And if you cannot do anything for me today, I don't remember anything else. And so when this happened, it made me learn boundaries. And I went from the person who was loved because I was willing to repress my own needs. And I start, I had boundaries now. I went from nice to narcissist. So I'm telling this for everybody who's watching this, that you're going to have to be okay. that when you heal and you do that deep internal work, to become healed and whole and to understand your hitting and repressed emotions, things that have wounded you, you take the time to address and to heal from that. This is going to create a catastrophic shift for other people because now the version of you that they benefit from, they have now lost access, not because you've taken the access away, but because the old version of you no longer exists. It's not even there. So even if they, even if you wanted to give them access again, there's something about your wholeness that will not allow them access when they use you and didn't appreciate you when you were in your unhealed state. You're going to have to be okay with the name calling. 
You're going to have to be okay with the isolation. You're going to have to be okay with the triangulation in, from friends and family. People having to poison your reputation secretly because they cannot deal with you face to face and, conf and confront you directly. So they go behind your back and they say little things because that's their way of fighting you in a way that they can't fight you face to face. You're going to have to be okay with that because sometimes the healed version of you has to be okay that what was before may not have been real. Because typically what we do is we formulate unhealthy bonds to survive the wounds and the pain that we live with. So the healed version of you is going to have to be okay that maybe what you had partnered up with, maybe what you had become loyal to before, you have to let that go and to embrace what comes now, not that you are a healed version of yourself. So if you're one of these people who used to be nice and overextend yourself and people just loved you, and then when you set restraints, I'm telling you, you're in good company. You're not by yourself. This is a natural, healthy consequence of you growing and from your growth, developing solid boundaries. Stay on the journey, continue to heal. I promise you, you're becoming great. And the relationships that stem from this are going to be more real and substantive than the ones you had before. So stay focused, keep on healing, and make sure you take care of your mental health. Sir Hill speaks in the building. We're out of here. Let me know what you guys think about this. Can you guys relate? Were you the nice person? If so, tell me about your story in the comments. I want to hear from you. Until next time, we'll talk with you soon.